Welcome back to Westworld. Uh, episode 8 is what we're going to be watching today. Now, uh, Episode 7, so Bernard turned out to be a host and didn't know it. And and he killed uh, Teresa, so... Mm. Yeah, if, if you've seen the show, you know what happened. You just saw my reaction, probably. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to recap it if you want to go back and see it. I mean, what what else is there to say? I don't, I don't want to hold this up. I'm watching this back to back. I kind of want to just keep going. So, episode eight. Here we go. Does he remember? Teresa, she's gone. The guilt you feel, the anguish, the horror, the pain—it's remarkable. <laughs> beauty. You suffered the author of so many of them. So he, so now he knows he's not real. Love, hate. I wanted all the shades in between. So, I built you, and together you and I captured that elusive thing, heart. I raised this place to hell. It's enough and heart. You can't hurt him. Yeah, That's yeah. He just got <gasps> House of the Rising Sun, right? Yeah. Your drink and let me show you around upstairs. So Clem's Clem's lines in a new package. Something wrong, Maeve. Bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> Whoa. I was slowing down. It's like, what, what's happening to my brain? Every host's spine, mine included, has an explosive charge which will detonate if I try to leave. Isn't that right? Are you fucking kidding? We can't just give her control of other hosts. Oh, yes, you will, darling. Time uh. to write my own fucking story. Rot row. What kind of people would we be if we simply let him suffer? The kind that could get caught up in the reinforcements or, you know, all those fucking people with, with arrows. Come find me. Seeing her future? Demise? We found her up on Python Pass, the bottom of a ravine. Same ravine where we found our stray woodcutter. It seems yesterday's demonstration was a hoax designed by Miss Cullen. They're like, look, she was what was wrong with this place. Everyone can keep their job. Because we publicly threw her under the bus and off a cliff Something's up. and into a wall. Yeah, oh, you just disconnect her. What? Wipe out everything. Clean slate. Dump her back down here. Smack her in the fucking head with something and, and, and then claim, oh, she came in that way. Yeah, we're obviously not plotting. I'm sorry, Felix. Man, every, every everyone is unfolding on their own terms. It's you. I figured they retired you. What if Wyatt's the man at the middle of the maze? They're all looking for this man. Dragging Dolores away. Actually, I did remember something. You. Oh, shit. There's no security cameras in this place. Which is why I always consume my victims. It's a commercial. Let me show you. What? So now there's gonna be a body, right? Another body? I didn't do it enough so that you you die and be completely opened up. Just just enough so that you can bleed a little. Man, it's time to recruit my army. I'm a fan of Maeve. I like her character. I like her path of discovery. But for those lab techs, once she starts swinging a blade, you pull the battery. You, you, you're like, that's it. She deserved a token of gratitude. How about a double round on me? Top shelf. She learned about the voice commands. And treated the newcomers at the far table to a stunning view of their most popular attractions. On the house. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> That's the sheriff's horse. Ugh. You know, just like in, in every movie where the black guy dies first. It's, it's ridiculous. Or second to last. Movie tropes. Yeah, the juxtaposition with, with the classical music or the rock music and then this ultra-violence. It, it, it's just like the old Red and Stimpy episode. The marshals decided to practice their quick draws with each other. 
Your imagined suffering makes you lifelike. Lifelike, but not alive. Pain only exists in the mind. It's always imagined. Well... So what's the difference between my pain and yours? Exactly. Between you and me? This was the very question that consumed Arnold. Has this always been here, or is this part of the new stuff that Ford's free? Okay, this... Okay. This looks like the town that maybe Teddy and Wyatt shot up. Just at a glance. What are you doing? Are you okay? I was, I was calling... Yo. <laughs> Where are we? We're here. Together. Look at him. When are we? Man, are you two? Fucked. Uh, uh. That could be an army for Maeve. Got a whole bunch of That's fucked up robots locked up downstairs. Did his eyes blink when the okay. light shined on him? Was that an actor of Fupa? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, what? Forgive the intrusion. You were both very discreet, but uh, it's my job to know these things. I just wanted to offer my support. I'm afraid oh. you have the wrong idea. I respected Teresa, and what happened to her was tragic, but to be honest, I barely knew her. He of knows course, they were an item. Come on, come on, security man. Use your brain. Our choices That's the girl at the train station that welcomed uh, Will William. Even if it kills us. White hat. It's time you came back to the fold. Why, we need you soon. Alright, that was episode 8. Alright, so we've learned a whole bunch about... Not a whole bunch, but... Uh, yeah, some backstory. The man in black. You know, his family, his wife, and then he came there. He'd been coming there, and then... Uh, Dolores was freaking out when she was in the church. She was having flashbacks. Even Bernard. Bot Bernard had flashbacks. Um, going through his head until he was wiped. Ma Maeve causing trouble has got to be the best... The, one of the best parts about this episode. Just... Eh... Eh... It's like Jim Carrey in um, Bruce Almighty when when, he, when he's got you know God's power and he's just like psh, 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 just doing whatever the hell he wants. That's gonna do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all soon and goodbye.